Hi all, welcome to my channel, welcome to my world, this is the world of Wayne. We've now got a real big one here. We've got pack four of the Agora models release of Bismarck, the legendary battleship. Now, if you thought pack three had a lot to do, pack four has got loads. Now, all packs going forward till the end of this build now will have 12 stages in it. And I've already cut out each individual picture that I put on the screen for the instructions, just to let you know there's 150 different items that we've got to do today. So, gonna be absolutely amazing. I'm probably gonna film this over a couple of days. God knows how long it's taken to edit this. But this is such a great build. As I said, this is what we've done at the moment. We've basically done the whole section, the front bow, and we're working on the super superstructure deck and we're going to be continuing the superstructure deck in this stage now if you want to get hold of this yourself i've put the link down the bottom here for the agora models website this will take you specifically to the bismarck build but on the agora models website you can get a plethora of new items you've got the super snake you've got the cobra you've got the zero fighter you've also got the leopard tank coming out and just behind me here you've got the Terminator as well. Plenty of things for you to get on with, so uh, check that out. And uh, remember, they do post worldwide, but if your country's not listed, just get in contact with Agora and they'll be able to advise you accordingly. Anyway, as I said, today we're working on the Superstructure deck, so without further ado, let's get cracking. So we're going to be starting nice and simple for this one. So stage 33, all we're going to do is put a sticker on the motor here. Now you will note we have got some screws here. We're going to need to keep the screws safe for the next stage. So don't uh, lose those screws. Let me get this open. So all we do is just take this wire off the motor just so we get the cable out. And then all we're going to do is put the sticker on the end so we can identify this at a later time. This is the sticker B19. So I've got that out here, put that on like that. That's all identified. Keep the screw safe. That's all there is to do in that stage. In stage 34, we've got quite a lot to do because we're gonna be working on the radar control center. And the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna be taking the sprue looking like that. And we're interested in the lockers on this section here. So I'm gonna cut all of these off the sprue ready to put on the superstructure deck. For that, once again, using my sprue cutters, I put those in my Amazon store and that's just linked down below. Anything you see me using in any of my videos, you'll be able to get through my Amazon store. Uh, that includes these glasses, which are gonna be invaluable in this pack, trust me. So I've cut them off. I'm gonna put them all to one side because we just need to put some glue in a tray here because we're going to be gluing these on not a lot and i apply my glue just like i said did last time with a uh, archimedes drill here just with a normal dress pin inside it now these are going to go on the control center here they're actually going to go into the free holes this side and the same on this side the handles of the door are going to be facing towards this section of the control center so let's get these in place so when they're in they look just like that. We're gonna do the same thing just on the other side. And there we go, that's both sides completed. Now we're gonna take the top deck of the radar looking just like this, and we're gonna be putting some rangefinder stalks in each side, and they are on the sprue here that we've just seen. So let's get these off. Now we want the scopes of these, that's these points coming out here, to be pointing towards this section here with the two holes in it. So I'll put some glue just in the side here to get these in. Here's the first one. Making sure it's straight. And then we do the same on the other side. And again, putting it in so the scopes are pointing towards those two dots that we can see at the front there. And when they're in, just making sure they're straight, that should look like that. Now we can put that to one side because we're gonna be bringing this back over because we're gonna be working on some gears now. So the first gear we've got looks like that and the long end of this is just gonna go into the hole that we can see there. So we can put that into place just like that. We're gonna be putting a pin just into the end of that and this might help just getting yourself some tweezers here just to help line that up to put that in. So I've got some here and I'll just drop that down the hole in the center there so it looks like that. 
The next cog we've got looks just like this. We want to put this in that way so the smaller side is facing down. So the easiest way to put this in is to probably get the pin first. Put the pin where it's going to go just into this trough here. So you see it's actually just standing up right there. And then we're going to be putting this cog over the top of it. Just like that. You see it just dropped in there, that was lucky. <laughs> The last cog we've got to put in has got a flat side on the top here. That's just going to go over the first pin that we put in. Now I am lifting this up because I don't want this section here to push the gears up. So that's why you're going to need to uh, hold it in your hands. Put this over the top. So that's all the three gears stacked on top of each other. Now we need to keep this into place. And we're going to do that with the mounting plate, which looks like that, which is going to fit over the top just like that. It's going to be held in by three two times five mil screws. So there's the first one. Now hold this all into place. And then quite simply we just put two more in. One this side. I don't think that's going to come out now so I can actually put that down. And then just one on this side here. There you go. And as you can see, that gear is in. It should be able to turn because we haven't got a motor on it and all the gears should actually move with that, which they do. Now we're going to be putting the motor that we worked on in the last stage into this. Now, as you can see, the cable on this motor is actually going to be pointing away to this round section of the uh, control center there. It's going to go in like that. We've got two screws to put this in with and they're the screws that came in stage 33. These are the ones that we saved. They are 1.7 by six mil screws. So once again, I'll line this motor up and I'll get the first screw in here. I'm not putting it in all the way, just enough to hold it for a second so I can get the other one in. And then we'll tighten this up fully. You wanna make sure it's nice and tight because you want this motor to fully engage those gears with no chance of ever slipping out. Now because the motor's on now, there's no way we can turn that because then that's all controlled by the motor. Now we're gonna be breaking off these photo etch parts. Now the way that I normally do this is I, I examine where they're actually held on to the photo etch. If they're in the middle and I can't get to them, I get my scalpel I hold it at the point that they're being held and I just keep rocking it until it breaks off. If it's on the edge, what I'll do is I'll find where it's held on and then I'll rock the side that's actually being held without touching the detail. That way it ensures that all of these details come off flat. So I'll get these off now. And as you can see, that's all of those off. So let's put them to one side. And the first thing we need is the base of the radar here looking like that. We're gonna be putting this round photo etch detail just around this here. Now there's a couple of tabs that can align it here. And we've got a couple of holes either side of that to drop some glue. So I'll put them in now. One in there. And one in the other side. And we'll gently put this in. Making sure it engages on both sides into those holes. And when that's in, that should look just like that. We're gonna take the rangefinder scopes and we're actually gonna be putting two photo etch parts around each side here. So I'll drop some glue into the holes that they're gonna go. One here, one the other side. Now this one at the back is the shorter of the parts that look like this. And that should look like that. You can see what I mean about how detailed and fiddly this issue is going to be. This whole stage, actually. Same on the front. And the front one should look just like that. Now we've got some ladders just to put on either side of the control deck here. Put some glue in here. These are the smaller of the ladders that we've got in this uh, pack. So one on that side and the same on the other side here.
just like that. And then the longer ladders that we've got here, we just need to bring over the superstructure deck that we we're working on last time. And they're just gonna go behind each rangefinder in the holes that we can see each side there. So we'll put these in. And that's one in there, just do exactly the same on the other side. Now that's all the photo etch parts from this stage are now in or on the ship. Flatten that down, there we go. That's the last one in place. Now we're gonna be fixing the radar antenna just into these two holes here. We want it so that the larger area here is facing upwards. So I'll put some glue in here to get these in. Just like that. And then when you put this in, just make sure it's seated very square and it's not tilted up or down just like that. We're then gonna be attaching the base of the radar unit to the top of the deck here. This is quite simply just gonna go over like that and held into place with a screw. That screw is a 1.7 times four mil screw. They're in this pack here and they are the shorter ones, uh, black ones that we have. And we'll just screw that into place. Again, making sure that's quite tight in there because the radar is gonna be controlled by the motor now. And now we've got probably the most hardest part in the build. We've got some little tiny details on sprue here. Now we've got three big ones, which we're gonna break off, and then these really tiny ones. You will need magnifying glasses so you can see what way around these go in, and there is a chance these could ping off in all directions. So I'm gonna show you a technique to make sure that doesn't happen. What I'm going to do is I'm going to break off the bigger ones first because I need them first. And because they are bigger, I'm not worried about if these will ping off because I'll be able to find them again. We also need the detail, which is going to provide a central stalk, which is just on the sprue at this end here. And these three big details are going to go into the three holes that we can just see on the deck here. So I'll get some glue and we'll put those in first. Now when we put them in, you need to make sure that the flat sides are facing the front. So check out the picture and that will ensure you are putting them in the right way. So that's one. Two. And three. They've got in no problems at all. Now the central stalk one that goes in the flat side of the tilted top faces towards the front, and that's just going in here. Now, without magnifying glasses, I'll be shocked if you could actually see this. <laughs> but there we go, that's those in, no problems at all. Now, we've got to put all of these really, really tiny ones in. So, get yourself some masking tape and just put some on the back of the sprue, make sure that the details are stuck to it, and then cut them off. And that way, they're not gonna ping off in all directions. And as you can see, there's five very tiny details on my masking tape here. Now we need to put these in exactly the same way with the flat sides facing forward. You probably won't be able to see the flat side without magnifying glasses, but it can be done. So I'm gonna do the this side first, take off one of these details, now these details do look different, one's got a round head, the others have got tilted, so you need to make sure you pick the right ones, so I've got a tilted head one here, and that's the first one going in, just like that. Let's do the next one. And there we go, that's two in. Let's do two on the other side. There we go, that's all the tiny ones in there. And then just the round one that we've got is going in the center. Now 
Now at the whole build so far, these are probably the most tiniest things you're going to be putting in. When they're in, they should look just like that. Now the last part we've got on this sprue is a, is a lot, slightly larger detail, which is just going to go at the top of the radar control deck. It's actually just going to fit into the hole that we can see at the top there. So I'll put some glue in here. And I should be able to just push that in with my hand. So that looks like that. The last thing to do is we're going to be attaching the radar to the base here. It's actually directional. So we just need to make sure we put it in the right way. So all around the sides here, one. And on the other side, two. Put the radar back in place. So it's fitting perfectly flat there. And then I will just put that antenna back on. Just like that. And that is the completed radar control deck. Now put that to one side because in stage 35, we're actually going to be working on some of the sprues that we still had left over from stage 34, looking just like that. So I'm going to bring over what we've done so far of the superstructure deck. And the first details we need look just like that. So I'll get all of these off the sprue. And the first two of these are just going in front of the range finders into this hole here. And here on the other side. Now they have got little tiny tabs on the back there. The backs face towards, those tabs face towards the range finders. So that will help you orientate this to the way in that it's actually going to go. So that's one. And I'll just put the other one in this side. And that's two. Now the other two are just going onto this second deck down here. This one here on each side of these uh, details that we put in, in the last pack. So again, I'm just dropping glue into the holes here. And once again, the little tab is actually pointing at an angle in these uh, in these ones. So I am going to put it in exactly like it looks like in the picture. So there's one there. And the same on this side. And there you go, that's all four of those details in place. Then we want to break off the larger of the storage lockers here. And that's going into these two holes that we can see, one here, and there's one behind it there. That's going to sit in just like that. The second storage box is just going on the top deck here, just into these two holes, one and two. And I can put this into position. Just like that. Then we've got four of these storage units here, which are actually freestanding. So I'm going to break these off and show you where these go. Now these are just going to go into the four slots that we can see here, here, and the other side, one there, and one there. Now they face outwards. So all it is, just a case of putting them in and making sure they're standing up straight. So we've got one there. One this side. And then we've got two just around the other side there. And there we go. That's those four in place. And then the last detail we have here just goes in front of the storage box that we put in first there. You can see we've got a little horizontal hole next to it just there now this is directional so look at the picture but this sort of has a diagonally flat top which faces away from that storage box so that's in just like that and that means we've got no more sprues they've all been dealt with so what we want to do now is we want to affix the radar deck that we did before onto this section where we've just put those details so what we're going to do is feed this wire through so it's coming out of the bottom there. 
all the way so then this can sit perfectly in this channel here and then push it onto here it's a very very tight fit but eventually you'll hear a click and it will sit in just like that now I've already got this section of the deck already on the lower section of the deck but what we're going to be doing is we're going to be fixing that in place with some screws from the underside here now it's going to take four screws they're pb screws so I've got them here these are left over from the last pack so I'll get these in here's the first one that's one I'll put one just over the other side there and that's going to hold all of that in place and then we've got two more now that's affixed all of that into place now in stage 32 we had these little bits of details left over now it's time to actually install these into place so the first one is going to go on the port side into this hole here and then the holes that we've got in the deck here one two and three so i'll put that one into place now i'll put the verticals in first and then feed the horizontal into that hole there and when that's in that one should look just like that there do the same on the other side but this time the deck or the railing sorry is a lot shorter and i put them in exactly the same way the verticals first then the horizontal into the side of the ship there and then when that's in that should look just like that now we don't need this anymore lots of details we've done on that i can put that to one side we need to bring over the hull of the ship that looks just like that we're going to be attaching a kill section and this is what the kill section looks like that's just going to go here but it's going to be held in with a tab that's going to fit over the top just like this here and that's going to be secured in with the two times four mil screws now these are the regular silver screws that we use through this whole hole whole hole <laughs> the whole hole and kill section so i'll put one in here first and then i'll put one in the other side they're now engaged so they're pretty much together just like that you see it lift in there and then just two on the other corners one there and one there and there we go we've extended the hole out now if i just push that to one side because the only other thing we've got to do is just assemble this stand here and quite simply all we're going to be doing is putting these sections here pushing them into the ends so one this side one the other side which when it's on stands now will enable this one to go here probably best on the side camera this one kind of like that in the middle obviously we've got the front one here and now once we've laid it out that's kind of like how that should look and that is all there is to do in that stage now in stage 36 we've got a motor for the four top radar so just like last time all we're going to do take this out and we're just going to be applying a sticker here which says b18 to the wire of this motor and we do have some screws again looking just like this that we need to keep safe for the next stage okay in stage 38 we're going to be doing another whole section and we're going to be working on the four top radar so for that reason i've got to bring over the bismarck again looking just like that and the next whole section is just going to be going on the port side over here so i've got that here quite simply it's just going to go underneath up like this and it's going to be fixed in with the silver two times four mil screws so i've got them here and we'll put these in so i think the first one i'll put in is the one that's attaching it to the plate next to it just like that and then we've got two just at the base there 
that's number one and there we go that's the last one in just like that and now I can put this to one side now we want to take the top of the command post and we're actually going to put a deck just into the top section here it's going to go this way up so that we've got these details up and it's going to sit in like that we are going to need to put some glue in here so I've got some glue here I'm just going to trace it just round the edges that I know this deck is going to touch it doesn't need too much just enough to hold that in place that on like that and there we go I'm going to turn it over because we're going to be putting some cogs in here now so just like last time when we did this we're going to be dropping the first cog just through the hole here and then we're going to be putting one of the pins just into the top here so just like we do last time look at the picture we're going to assemble the gears exactly like we did and then we're going to secure this all together with three screws and they are two times five mil screws which i do have here put this one in and then two more to put in around the other sides so that should look just like that and then you can just test by turning it around make sure that the top turns which means that the gears are engaged to each other that's working absolutely fine to that end what we're going to do is we're going to cut open these screws that we had from the previous stage with the motor and just like last time we're going to affix the motor to this this time the wire that's coming out here is going to go off towards the right hand side of this part here just like that we're going to screw these in with these screws which are 1.7 times 6 mil screws so just ensure both of these screws are nice and tight and now we shouldn't be able to move this section here because that's now controlled by the motor and that's what that should be looking like now we've got this top to put onto this section here quite simply this is just going to go over the top just like that and it's going to be held in with a 1.7 times 4 mil screw which i've got here and then that will keep that all into place there very good then we're going to be gluing this top to the top of this section here as you can see you've got a little notch there so it's going to dictate what way around this actually goes so we need to put some glue just around the edges here so i'll make sure that's completely covered on each side just like that and then we can put this into place there you go just like that and then we've got a command post attachment which looks just like this that's just going to go onto the front section just into these dashed holes here just like that so once again a little bit of glue into each one one and two that goes on like that and that is all there is to do in that stage Then stage 38, we've got another hole section, which we're going to fit first. And then we're going to be working a little bit more on the four top radar deck. So once again, we'll bring this whole section over here. And quite simply, just like last time, this one is going to go underneath like that. It's going to be held in by three two times four mil screws, the silver ones. So we'll get these in. One here. Just like that and then two more and there we go that's all fitted so we can put that back to one side now this time just like last time we're actually going to be putting this deck piece down into this section here just check the fit on it it should fit in quite nicely on its own it shouldn't need glue if it isn't and it does actually slip out just put a little glue underneath there i don't need to as you can see on this now we've got some details here that we're going to need to put on the radar section here and the first detail we need is this one just here now this is going to go on this way around and it's just going to go onto the points that we can just see here on this side and the same on the other side so i'll drop some glue just into those holes there one and two put this one in this side and then we'll do exactly the same just on the other side here one and 
two and we'll put that just on like that then we're going to cut off these rangefinder arms that we've got on the sprue here and when we put these on we want to make sure that the scopes are pointing towards these two dots in the end here so we'll put one in here just like this and then one just in the other side here assuring they're straight and they should look just like that then we've got three of these tiny details which we pretty much worked on the last stage not the really tiny ones just uh semi-tiny <laughs> is that a word <laughs> so i'll cut all three of these off and these are going to go on the three mounts that we can see around this unit so there's going to be one at the front one just behind the range finder there range finder i meant scope <laughs> so let's get these on now the ones on the side sort of face outwards as you can see in the picture there that's the first one in put the second one in you do want to make sure that they're actually fully seated in here because you don't want this radar to spin around and knock these and here's the third one and there you go and that's all three of those in place now we've got a door left on this sprue and a set of lockers so i'm just going to cut them off and they're just going to go onto the end of this section here so the lockers will be going on this section here just like that and then right next to it we've got the door and the, uh, make sure you put it the right way around so that the porthole section of the door is facing upwards. And that looks just like that. Then all we've got to do is we've got to put this section into the deck, put the wire through, make sure it's going to fit absolutely fine, which it looks like it will. We're going to be applying a little bit of glue just around the area where this is going to be seated. So that's into this run here and here. Do the same on the other side, here and here. A little tiny bit at the back. And then we can fit this in and this will be a permanently affixed then. Just like that. And that is all there is to do in that stage. Now stage 39, nice quick section, we've just got a piece of hole to put in. So I'm going to bring over the ship again. And this time we're just going to be working on this port section here. And quite simply, this is what it looks like. It's just going to go into the section here. And it's going to be held in with two times four mil screws. But we do need to link it to the plate next to it. And for that reason, we do have... One of these adapters again which just goes over this point just like that so we get these screws in one here i'll put uh one in this adapter on this side it's a little bit tricky for me because i'm right-handed so i've uh i've moved it around <laughs> so that's that one in one next to it just like that and then the last one is just for the plate that's going into the keel section there and there you go it's extended out quite well now but that's all there is to do in that stage now we're going to work on the fire control post details and searchlight deck so we get all of this out as you can see a lot of sprues in this one and the first thing we want to do take this wire get the wire off of it we're going to be attaching a little label to this which is labeled b9 one end of this has got a light on the other one's just b9 the first thing we're going to do is actually create the searchlights because this is going to be part 
of a searchlight. We've got quite a few details here to, to break off the sprue, which form all of the components for the searchlight. So I'm going to get all of these off and show you how that goes together. So the way we want to do this is take the LED end and when we want to get this section, which looks just like this. Making sure that the thinner circle part is facing up, we'll put the LED in just like this and then just leave that down the bottom here. We don't need that for the second. Then we're going to be putting the LED into the cavity of this spotlight back here, making sure that the bulb is facing upright. Now the bulb is very tiny on these. It doesn't look like your normal LED bulb. It's actually on a circuit board, but it should look like that when that's in. Now we want to get the searchlight here. We want to put the lens in. This is what the lens looks like. We just drop that in so the top hat section of it is facing up. So when that's in, if I turn it over, it should look like that. Now, get some glue and we want to just put that all around the edges of the section that we've just made with the LED lighting. Just like that. Because we're going to be piecing this into the cover of the lens making sure that the notch on this is facing down towards the wire just like that and as you can see we do now have a spotlight on the wire now we've got the pivot points for these which go in the side we don't glue these these just clip into the side so it enables it to move up and down like that and then we need the holder for that which are these two sections here which we're going to be putting on the wire and quite simply, all you do is you're going to put the wire in between the trough that you can see of that side there. Dab some glue just into the holes. One and two. And then we've got a cover just to put on top of that to pinch that wire together. Now you are, on this build, going to be building a hell of a lot of spotlights. So it's good to know that you know what you're doing now to make it easier for when we actually build the rest. All we have to do then is the underside of this hinge point here has got a hole. Put some glue in that hole there and then attach the mounts that we've just had onto that section, which is gonna mount the spotlight to the mount that we've just put in there. And that should look like that. And then the final thing is that section that we had at the bottom, we're going to slide that all the way up and putting a little bit more glue just around the edge here. We're going to attach the base into place. So all the way on, just keep revolving it around till it fits in perfectly and snug. Just like that. Just going to hold it for a second. And there we go. That's the spotlight completed. Now we're going to mount this to the deck. So what we've got, we've got this black deck detail looking like that. It's the flat side that we're going to want of this. So this is actually just going to go through the hole at the front. Like that. And then we're going to be attaching this deck detail to this part here. But we do, we will want to make sure that this wire is following the trough here. And we are going to need just to put some glue just into the inside here to keep that deck into place. Again, you're not gonna need too much glue. So once again, hold the wire tight before we put this in. Put it in like that. The wire comes out as you can see there. And that is now in place. And then the searchlight is just gonna need a tiny bit of glue just at the bottom of it, just to pin that to the base that we've put on. Believe me, it doesn't need a lot at all just like that push that down make sure it's straight i say in that you can pretty much have it at an angle it doesn't really matter where it goes really does it so but there we go that's the searchlight in place on there like that now we've got this locker structure which is going to go behind the searchlight into the two holes that we can see here and here so it's actually just going to fit in like that so I'll put some uh, glue just into those tiny holes there. One, two. And then hold that into place. 
and there we go that's so far what we've done on the searchlight deck we could put that to one side because we're going to start to make the upper part of the superstructure and these two sections just need to be pieced together so once again i'm just going to drop some glue just into these lug holes one well, matter of fact starting to run out of glue let's just pour some in here and put them in one two three and four and we can piece this together making sure that all of these pieces are engaged just like that now we've got a ladder which is not a photo etch it's already been taken off for us that's just going to go into this side here so once again just some glue in these four holes one two three four then we can drop the ladder in here just hold it for a second and there we go that's the ladder on and then we're going to be piecing this searchlight deck just onto the front here you want to make sure you put it on the right way it goes on this way so once you've got glue just around the top there you also just want to put some glue on the underside just around this rim here one there and one there then holding it this way round we're gonna sandwich this together like a credit card going into an ATM machine so it's gonna go in like this just like that and you want to make sure it's aligned so it's perfectly straight just like that just gonna hold it for a second there we go and that is in place make sure that this wire is going down put it through the wrong hole it goes down there there we go and that's the searchlight deck coming along we can put that to one side because we're going to need the radar control deck which we've got here we've got another photo etch part here with two ladders on it it's already been pre-molded for us that's just going to go around the front of the top of the radar here so we've got some points at the side there points at this side so it's probably best to put one side in first just like that then work on the other side over there and that should look just like that when it's in then we're going to be putting the coil in place now we've got one whole attachment on this side of the radar here and the other side's going to go into this central hole at the back there so when this goes in looks like that the coil we're going to put one side in here probably best to use some tweezers for this and then the other side into the hole on this side here straighten everything up and there we go when that's in that should look just like that now we have got two little details and some photo etch plate here so i need to get these off and these are just going to go each side of the scopes on the radar here now there's two dots two at the top one at the bottom so that gives you an idea of what way round these go so that's the two top ones in and the bottom one in straighten it up a little bit and there we go that's what it looks like when it's in i'm going to do the same on the other side and when they're both in they should look just like that now we've got some posts just at the bottom of these decks here four of those they're going to take these items here which are called zag artillery devices they look just like that on the sprue now i'll drop some glue just into the rear holes first one here and one here and they basically go with these sections on the top facing forward so i'll put the first one in so that looks like that we do the same for the other four and when the four of those are in they should look just like that and with those two sections there that's all there is to do in this stage now stage 41 as you can see we've got another piece of hole so we're going to bring over the ship again and this time we're just working on this side here so i'll get the piece out got a nice little bit of camouflage on it as you can see there that's just going to go in here mirroring what we just did in the last stage we'll put a little adapter just on this side like that and then once again we'll just use some of the two times four mil screws 
to keep that in place. That's one, two, three, and four. And as you can see, that's what that is looking like at the moment. That's all there is to do in that stage. Now in stage 42, we're doing the next kill section. So we're extending the ship out from the bottom again now. So I'll bring the hull over and it will be this side that we're actually going to extend out. This will be going on like that. We have the adapter which joins these together just on the top here, like that. And then once again, we've got four, two times four mil screws just to secure this all together. So that's one. There's number two. Number three over here. And the last one, number four. And there you go. That's all there is to do in that stage. Now stage 43, lots of sprues in this one. We're gonna be working on the Admiral's Bridge. And the first thing we need to do is cut the gratings from this frame with sprue cutters. And then all we're gonna do is we've got three little tiny indents in these grates just in the corner here. We're gonna be putting the smaller platforms just on top of them. So I'm dropping some glue into those platforms. Probably best to use some uh, tweezers for this and drop this into place. So when it's in, it should look just like that. Gonna do exactly the same thing on the other side here. And there we go, that's the other one done as well. Now this is the Admiral's deck or the start of it and the pieces we've just made, the grates are gonna go in each side into the horizontal slots that we can see there. So I'm gonna put some glue in here, just like that. And you just wanna make sure you put the correct side in the one on the correct size. <laughs> That makes sense. So basically the one, I'm just going to make sure this is straight. One second. So basically the curved edge of this is going to be matching the back section here. So that's one on that side. We'll do the same on the other side. And there we go. They're both into place just like that. We can now put that to one side because we've got a wire again. And this is going to have an LED on the end of it. So if I unravel it, you see you've got an LED one end. On the other end, once again, we're going to be putting... A little tab so we know exactly what this wire is. Uh, this tab is labelled B8, looking like that. So I'll put that on just like that there. Now the LED on the end of this is going to be going into this light distributing bit of plastic here. And we have got a little indent for the LED to go into. So that's going to fit in just like that. It actually holds itself in there. But we have got a brace to keep that in place. And that is just on this sprue here, just this one here. And we want to make sure when we put this in, there is a side with an indent in it, but that indent is going to be facing down. So this is going to be going over the top, just like that there. Now we're going to hold that in with some PWB screws, which I've got here. So one in this side, just like that. And then one in the other side here. And then make sure that's nice and tight. That's not coming out now. Now that LED is gonna be lighting up all of the windows that we've got on that plastic there. Now we need to start making the frame for the Admiral deck. So what I'm gonna do is cut all the frame parts off this sprue. So turning this upside down, so the LEDs at the bottom now, we're gonna be putting these edges on now and they've got a direction where they go. So this one's gonna be going on this side, just like this. And we wanna push that into the windows on that side there. We're going to be doing the same with the other side, pushing it on so that all of those go onto the windows just like that. Then the last thing to go on is the front of the control room there. Goes this way around. We have got some holes in here. So what I'm going to do is just dab a tiny bit of glue just into these holes because the tabs for the pieces at the side are going to fit into them. So when I push this on, it will all slot together. 
Now we've got this deck to put above this onto the three lugs that we see there. So I'll get some glue just onto those lugs. One, two, and three. And as you can see, they mark underneath on this deck so that will fit perfectly into place, just like that. So it should be nice and flush. Now we have got some photo etched parts to break off the plate here, so I'll do that now. And we're gonna start bending these. Now to bend them, I use my duckbill pliers here. Now these again are available in my Amazon store. And what you're looking for is a notch just on these sides here, so that when I put this against it, I can line up those notches and just do one complete bend, a complete right angle just like that. I can do the same on the other side there. Bend it round so you get a nice tight bend there. Now it also bends this way. So I get the first bend in here now. So now we've got looking like that. And then lastly, we're just gonna do a tiny little bend. It's barely even like 30 degrees just on the ends here. So one there and one this side like that. Now this is gonna fit on the front of the Admiral's deck that we put in there. I'm just gonna line it up, make sure everything's good, which it's looking to be. So I'm gonna drop some glue just into those holes. Place this in, and there we go. That's the first railings on there. We're gonna bend the other ones exactly like you see in the picture, so make sure that you've got the right side because there are two here that look very, very similar. So that's the second one bent. That's just gonna go on this side here. So I'll drop some glue just into the holes there and place this in. That's one side in, let's do the other side. And there we go. That's both sides in. We're then gonna be putting this whole deck on the base here. So we're gonna put the wire through there and then this is gonna sit just on top here. So it's gonna fit in just like that. We do need to put some glue in there though, just to keep that into place. So you can see the little points that this connects, one this side, one this side, and there's just one at the front there. So put that back in. Hold it in place. And as you can see, the Apple deck's coming along. We're then gonna take the searchlight assembly that we worked on previously. And once again, this is gonna be, the lead is gonna go through the center there, just like that. And this is gonna be fitting into the ports that we can just see around the side here. That's gonna fit on like that. Once again, we need to glue this into place. So I'm gonna just drop some glue into the port points that this is being held at. So there's two this side, and there's two at the front here. Just like that. Just holding it into place for a second. See, that's coming along, isn't it? Look at that. <laughs> we've got a large detail here which is a signalman shelter that's just going to go at the back in these two points that you can see just behind the detail we just put in so put some glue in here and quite simply this is just going to go into those points make sure it sits flat just like that and then the last detail we've got fits just on top of that into the holes that we've got here. And that just goes on top here like this. So that should look like that. And that is all there is to do in that stage. Now in the last stage of pack four, we're gonna be doing the upper mast deck. So just like you've seen previously, we just need to attach this deck to the top here. So uh, they just want us to put glue in. What I just tend to do is just spot some glue around this because it does kind of hold itself in anyway. It doesn't need too much at all. But I'll push this deck into place. 
just like that. Now we're going to assemble, I believe it's called the conning tower. I don't think it's coning tower, I think it's conning tower. So we just need to drop some glue into the lugs here to piece these two sections together. So one there. One this side. So that looks like that. And that's going to go this way up with the four tabs on top. But we're going to glue it into the side here, making sure that the two holes here are on the outside. So when this goes in, it's going to look like that. So these two holes on the side of the conning tower there are on the starboard side. So glue this in, just like that. Now it's time for glasses because we're going to make the ammunition hoist and this is really detailed. They're on a photo etch plate, so I'm going to make sure I take these off first. Now the first thing we're going to do, this is really tiny, we're going to take the smaller of the details that look like this and that's going to go on first. It goes over the central stalk of this cage. And when that's in, you want to sit down the bottom, but we want to put a touch of glue just to keep that angled in place. So I'm going to dab some glue just to the side of the detail down the bottom so this will stay into place. I'm going to hold it in my tweezers and show you, but that should look just like that. The next piece is going to fit on top, as you can see in the picture here. So I'm going to drop some glue in place first off on this one just so I can keep this into place as soon as it goes on. Boy, that's fiddly, but that should look like that. And then, even harder bit now, we've got to put these sections here through the points at the top there. And when that's in, that should look just like that. Now that's gonna be fixed to the front of this deck just here. Now there's a tiny lug that this goes into just in the center there. Just drop some glue in there. Make sure it's straight. And when that's in, <laughs> that should look just like that. That was so difficult. Now we've got some sprue details here which we need to cut off. Now the first detail is gonna go on the port side here, just into this hole that we can see there. And it's got a bend, it's got a curve on the back, so it actually follows the line of the conning tower there. So I'll get this one in and show you what it looks like. We've got one to put in next to it. So that's two in. And one just on the other side there. So there's three in total. And then in the big section behind the one we just put in, we've got two holes here. And that's going to take this larger piece, which is going to go into this section here. Just like that. That's all the sprue details in place around the conning tower. Now the penultimate part we've got now is just to put the railings on. And the railings are just going to follow the line around each side of this deck here. So I'll get some glue in those. Now I say penultimate. And the reason I'm saying that is because, do you remember very far ago, right back at pack one of this build, I said to you that we're going to be having some new replacement anchor rings to put on. Well, they come in this pack. So we'll be taking the old anchor rings off and putting the new anchor rings on. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to replace them and then show you the finished version of what that looks like. But that's the first railing on. I'll do the other side. And that's the second railing on like that. It's pretty much complete. So with these two pieces that we've done here and obviously all the pieces that we've done for the radar tower and the superstructure deck, which I'll bring over here, looking like that, that's all there is to do in that pack. Let me show you what the anchor rings look like now. Now getting the old rings off, quite easy but putting the new ones on <laughs> it's gonna be a little bit tricky so when the new rings are on they should look just like that but that's all there is to do in that pack so there you go there's so much to do in that build but uh, it is rewarding that's not, I, I'll be very surprised if you can do that in a day I have to say but 
look how much has come along on the uh, on the Bismarck now. Absolutely brilliant. Look, if you want to get this for yourself, once again, put the link down the bottom here for Agora Models. You can go over to the website, you can get all the way from pack one. Once again, if you are worldwide and your country's not listed, just check with Agora Models and they'll be able to tell you uh, where you stand on that. But I really do hope you like that video. If you did, please remember to give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed already, please remember to subscribe. Other than that, take care.